Hey there, welcome back. I'm really excited for today because I'm often asked what are the best practices for responding to reviews? You know that you can be using your customers' reviews to grow your business and get free marketing. In this video, I'm gonna share the top five insider tips on how to respond to customer reviews so that you can grow your brand and reach more customers. If you follow these tips, you will really set yourself apart from your competitors and really improve your social proof online. It's really important that you're using these platforms like Google My Business, Amazon, Yelp, TripAdvisor, whatever is relevant to your business so that you can promote your business and get free marketing and reach future customers. Hey there, I'm Melissa Laurie and I help business owners and entrepreneurs get the attention that they deserve and grow their business. I'm really excited for today. There's so much juicy goodness, so let's get into it. You need to consider the speed of your reply. And this is really important because if you think about how people actually do read reviews, they don't read a review in isolation. Just think about your own experience. If you're looking at a review of a cafe, for example, it's really unlikely you're just reading one review. Generally, people are reading about five to nine reviews. So the speed of your reply is really important. Consumers also really pay attention to your response. So we need to ensure that you're not only responding to negative reviews, but also positive reviews and doing it really quick. And why is it so important? Well, we don't want a negative review to be sitting on one of these platforms for all of your future customers to read without a response from you. In fact, there was a really interesting TripAdvisor study that was done, and they found that 85% of TripAdvisor users found that a thoughtful response from the management to a negative review actually left a really good impression about the business. So what does this mean? Well, people wanna hear from the business owner. They wanna hear feedback to reviews. And the speed at which you respond is really important so that you are addressing positive and also negative reviews. So what's the solution here? I recommend that you shortlist the key platforms of where your customers are leaving reviews. So that could be Google My Business, that could be Yelp, that could be Amazon, that could be TripAdvisor. Whatever these platforms are, write that list so that you are clear on what platforms that you need to be checking. Now, my advice here is that you should be checking these platforms regularly. I like to call this the review hit list. So once you have your own review hit list in mind, make it a habit to be checking these platforms each day. Yes, each day. Some days there might be no reviews. Some days there might be five reviews. But the importance here is that you are really quick to respond to reviews, whether they're positive or negative, because it is going to position your business in the best light, and it's also going to help you attract future customers. Be respectful with your reply. Monitoring reviews is a little bit like a roller coaster. You can have the highs of a great review or also the lows of some negative reviews. But let me tell you this, do not take it personally. Even if you go onto Amazon, you can do this after this video, check out the Harry Potter books. Despite how popular these books are, you will see that there are still one star reviews. Not everybody is perfect. So just be willing to accept some of the feedback from your customers. Okay, so I agree. Writing a sharp response might feel really good in the moment. Maybe you were really annoyed about a customer's review, but trust me, it is going to do so much more damage in the long term. No one wants to see a business berating a customer. In fact, you have the opportunity with responding to the review and sharing your side of the story. So just think about what message you want to show to your future customers and how you want them to be viewing your brand. So make sure that you do draft a response, whether that is a positive review or whether that's a negative review that you're responding to, because it's really hard once you write a review and it's out on the World Wide Web to get that removed. So it is in your best interest to write it out, take a moment, read over it. If you're happy with it, then post your response on any of those review platforms that are part of your hit list. The next step of review etiquette and a part that a lot of people actually forget to do, and it's just so simple. They forget to thank their customers. How many times have you left a review? 
If you have, you would know that there's a little bit of effort involved, right? Generally, you have to log onto the platform, you have to think about what you want to say. So it's not as easy as a lot of people think and that these people have actually taken the time, your customers, to leave a review and that's whether it's positive or negative. So take the moment to thank them because this is great data for your business. In fact, I'm gonna show you the anatomy of a review. So this is from a hotel who is responding to a review and it's actually a negative review. Let's take a look and see how this response was crafted. So let's just talk through this. The first part is thank you. So thank you for taking time to share your experience and feedback or your recent stay with us. So they're acknowledging the customer's review. We're glad to hear that you enjoyed our guest rooms, the fitness center and our complimentary BMW bikes for a ride around Stanley Park. What I love about this is that the hotel is actually calling out some of the positives of the review as well. So they're actually turning a negative review into a bit of a positive review. We do, however, regret to hear we may have missed any opportunities to ensure your check-in was smooth and seamless. So right here, they're actually calling out what the issue was and they're saying we messed up and we regret to hear that. They are offering them the opportunity to contact the hotel directly. And you can see that there's an email there so that they can have a private conversation and address any other concerns. The next part is that they are inviting this customer back. So they're giving them the opportunity to welcome you back to experience the high standard of service we have known for. So this is really important as well. You want to show to your future customers that you are inviting customers back, that you really value your customers. You can also see that the sign off is from the general manager. So this demonstrates the importance of customer feedback as well. The next part is to be human, be you. People want to hear from you in your language, in your tone. So really make it personal. I see a lot of businesses fall down when they are using a cookie cutter response. So just copying, pasting a response, especially for positive reviews. And this is just going to reflect really poorly on your business. So you need to really take the time here to think about your response. Okay, so what's the solution here? I need you to think about when you're responding to reviews, to think about how you can use this as a tool to market your business, to promote your business even further to future customers. So whether it's a positive or a negative review, let's just take a positive review. Say a customer has left a glowing review about your cafe. Maybe they're talking about the menu. You can use your response to talk about maybe your menu changes on a monthly basis. Maybe it is all about seasonal produce. This is really important because when future customers are reading these reviews and read, seeing your reply, that they know that you really pride yourself on seasonal food, that your menu is continually changing. So that is encouraging people to visit your cafe again. Can you see how this would be really valuable on how you can promote your business for free? Rather than having a cookie cutter response, rather than just saying thanks, think about how you can promote your business even further to your future customers. I think this is the most important part of the lot, opportunity. Think about your reviews as opportunity. In fact, you should be thinking about your reviews like you would think about your email subscriber base. You need to be growing your reviews. And the reason for this is that it's going to unlock so many opportunities for your business because future customers will be able to see what your customers are saying about your business and also how you are replying to those reviews. If you get your response right, you could even change a dissatisfied customer into a loyal customer of yours who ends up doing the marketing for you with sharing word of mouth about your business. Just think about what a bunch of positive, amazing reviews could do for your business. It's really important that you are building up your reviews, that you get getting a lot of fresh reviews across many different review platforms that are on your review platform hit list. But what I find is that a lot of people don't actually know how to ask for reviews. And if that's something that you need help with, I've dropped a link to done for you review scripts just down below that you can see in the description. 
Often businesses only have really one shot to ask for reviews. So I've actually created scripts all written out that you can just copy and paste, whether that's on social media, in emails or brochures or pamphlets, so that you can be getting more reviews for your business and also so you can generate free marketing. Thanks for sticking with me until the end. Let me know what you found the most helpful and leave a comment in the below. See you next time. And until then, take care.